Hey everybody, Melissa here. Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited you're all here. So today we're going to be in Microsoft Excel and I'm going to show you how to use a fairly complicated but powerful function combination. So my husband asked me how I would go about pulling the top 20 and bottom 20 items within a data set that has maybe a couple thousand rows and a hundred columns. Well, I told him I would use index match and then I would embed a small or a large function depending on what he's looking for. And his exact response to me was, huh? <laughs> and yours may be too, and that's okay. That's perfectly okay. That's why we're here. So that's what we're going to look at today. We're going to do an index match and then we're going to embed a small and large function to pull the top 20 or the bottom 20 from our data set. Now let me go ahead and say that there may be some people who come back and say, well, I would have used an XLOOKUP or a VLOOKUP, and that's perfectly fine. We do things differently. However, I have found that in certain scenarios, we still have a little bit more flexibility with an index match versus XLOOKUP or VLOOKUP, so that's how we're going to do it for this tutorial. I can't wait to show you how it works, so let's go ahead and get started. So I have some sales data here for fruits, and we have 128 different fruits on this spreadsheet. So the first thing I would recommend that you do is convert any data that you have to a table. If you haven't done that before, just select all of your data, go to Insert, Table, take the defaults, make sure you tell it that you do have a header, and it will convert it to a table. That'll make it a whole lot easier when we get into creating these formulas and functions. So let's just say that we want to find the top 20 sellers in this data set. So we're going to come to this cell E2, and we can come up to the function and insert it from here, but I'm going to insert it from within the cell. And we're going to do equals large, because we're finding the top 20 or the highest values. And then our array is where are we looking? Well, we're looking in the sales numbers. So we're going to click on column B. Now, as you can see, it's selected everything in column B. Now, we're going to put a comma. And our K is what rank are we looking for? Well, in this case, we're looking for the top rank or the number one or the highest. So we can put the number one in there and then the number two, but I recommend clicking on the cell that contains the rank you're looking for. That way, if you ever update this data, it will update what it retrieves. We're going to close our parentheses. We're going to hit enter. And it shows us our top selling item has sold $9,996 worth of product. Let's go ahead and carry that down. And that gives us our top 20. Now this data is awesome, but let's just say we need the fruit associated with this amount. So what we're going to do is this is where we're going to use our index, match, and large. So we're going to do equals index, open our parentheses, and if you notice, we have two separate sets of function arguments that we need to enter. So the first thing that we're going to do is our array for index is where are we looking? So we're looking for fruit, so that's going to be all of column A. We're going to do a comma, and now we're going to do our match. Open our parentheses, and now we're going to embed our large function and open up another set of parentheses. Now our large here it's just like our large over here. Our array is where are we looking? We're looking in the sales data. Comma, our K is just like it was over here. What rank are we looking for? So we're looking for D2 or our first rank. We're going to close this set of parentheses. We're going to do a comma. And now where is the match looking? And it's also looking in the sales data. So we're going to pick that. We're going to do another comma. And now this match type is either a 1 or a 0. I generally always pick 0 because 0 is an exact match or nothing at all. A 1 is an exact match or 
the next closest match, either greater than or less than. So I generally pick zero. So we're going to do a zero. And now we need to close out our parentheses to close out our function arguments. So let's do one. And it is red. So that's telling us we're not to the end. Do another one. It is black. And that's telling us all of our function arguments are accounted for. So let's hit enter. And it gives us the fruit associated with this amount. So let's go back into this function combination. So basically what this is saying is index or look for the fruit in column A. Then we're going to go to the large. And it's saying find the largest value in column B and match it to what we indexed in column A. I hope that makes sense. So that's, let me say that again. So look in column A and index what's there. Find the largest value in column B and match it to what's in column A. And that's what it's returning here. So I will put this formula and a little bit more of an explanation in the description of this tutorial for use in your spreadsheets. OK, so let's go ahead and pull this down. And now it gives us the top 20 fruit names that goes with our top 20 sales numbers. Let's check our data. I'm going to sort this largest to smallest. And this is the top. This is the second, third, fourth, and so on. So our data is correct. Now let's do the same thing for the bottom 20, or our 20 least selling. So we're going to do the same function that we did here for our top 20 with one exception. We're going to do equals small. Open our parentheses and our array is where we're looking. Well, we're still looking in our sales data, comma, what rank are we looking for? And we're looking for the first. And in this case, the first is the lowest. Close our parentheses, hit enter, and it gives us $1,244. So let's pull that down. Now we want to do like we did over here, and we want to get the fruit associated with this bottom 20. So we're going to do equals index, open our parentheses, and again, it's the same thing. So what we're looking for to index is in column A, or the fruit name, comma, match, open parentheses, and instead of doing large, like we did over here, we're going to do small. Open our parentheses, and we're looking at sales numbers. So we're going to do another comma, and what rank are we looking for? We're going to click on cell H2, close out those parentheses, click on column B again for our match, comma, and we're going to do a zero. Close out your first set. It's red. We have another one. It's black. We're good. Enter. And it shows pomegranate. Let's dive back into this again. So again, index, look in column A. Look for the smallest value in column B. Match A and B and return that value. And let's pull it down. And here we have our bottom 20. Let's check our data. Go smallest, pomegranate, Marionberry. And as you can see, our data matches. OK, so let me hide these first two. So for this one, we want to look at our lowest sellers, our second, fourth, sixth, eighth, tenth, and so on lowest seller. So what we're going to do is the same thing. We're on the bottom, so we're going to do equal small. Open our parentheses. We're looking in sales, comma. Our array is our rank, which is 2. Close your parentheses, enter. OK. And we're going to pull this down. And then we're going to do the same type of index and match here. Equals index. Open our parentheses. We're looking for our fruit, column A, comma match, open parentheses. We're looking for the bottom, so we're looking for small. Open another set of parentheses, so we're looking for the smallest value in our sales data, comma, and we're looking for the rank 
of L2, or the second from the bottom, close our parentheses, comma, to match, we're looking for our sales data, so we're going to click column B, comma, zero, because we want it to return an exact match. Close out our parentheses, enter, and it shows Marionberry. Let's pull that down. Let's sort our data, smallest to largest. Our second smallest, Marionberry. Fourth is Blood Orange. Six is Pineapple, and so on. Pull this down, and this gives us our two, four, six, eight, ten, and so on. So we're going to do the same thing, the index match and large. For our fruits, we're going to do equals index, open our parentheses. We're looking for our fruit in column A, comma. We're going to do a match, open parentheses, a large. We're looking for the largest value associated with the index in column B, comma. We're looking for the second, or what's in P2, close our parentheses, comma. Then for our match, we're going to click on column B, comma, zero, because we want an exact match. Close, close, enter. Let's pull this down. Let's check our data. Our second highest is dragon fruit, fourth, sixth, and so on. So our data is correct. Now let me show you why I keep saying to click where our rank is versus putting in the numbers. Let's just say you come back to this date and you're like, you know what, I need odd. One, three, five, seven, nine. Now look what happens. Let's resort our data. Smallest. It changes it. Pomegranate and so on. So if you choose the cell that your rank is in versus putting it in manually, it saves you a lot of time if you want to come in and change this data. Oh, that was a lot, wasn't it? Are you okay? Are you still with me? Are you still sane after all that? That's the most important question. <laughs> so we just took four functions that can work independently and combine them into a powerful function that allows us to pull the top 10, bottom 10, top 15, bottom 15, or anything we can think of in between that we would need to pull from our data. Now I'm absolutely certain you have it, or you're going to get it. But if you look down in the description, I have put the small function, the large function, and then an index match small and an index match large for your reference. Now just keep in mind that the first thing you should do is convert your data to a table. That way it's easier to reference within your functions. And then whatever your ranks are going to be, whether you're looking for the top 10, Put those in a column and number them 1 through 10, and that way you can reference that cell instead of having to put that data in manually. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this in the future, please subscribe to my channel before you go. And if you have any questions, feedback, or ideas for future content, then drop me a comment, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Until then, thanks so much for watching.